Hey, good morning, everyone. Mig here from Hopper Adventures. We're getting super excited for this weekend's Lake Sonoma Enduro. Thanks, everyone, for signing up on this new Hopper Adventure, one of my favorite places to ride. And this time of year, the conditions are fantastic. The wildflowers are absolutely exploding, as is the poison oak. So if you get that, make sure you prepare. So in this video today, um, the purpose of this is to go over the start time, the segments, the staging, all the essential details. Along with your writer email, you'll have a link to see this on your own. So as you see, the total length of the day, 22 miles, it's a little bit longer than that, ends up being just under 24 miles, 3,500 feet about, with five segments of descending, and I think the total is closer to a little over 11 miles. This is the map, which all of you should have seen by now, summarizing the day. We start down at the lake where we have registration, and you ride 4.2 miles on paved rock pile road all the way to the start at Lone Rock parking area. This is the spot where we'll have the feed zone hydration and mechanics medics throughout the day as you see all the segments either cross or come really close to this area. Segment one over here you climb back up the road to rock pile with segment two, up half a canoe, segment three, up half a canoe again, segment four, and then rock pile road, segment five, ripping down into the finish. Registration, we'll have registration Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. There's camping there as well. We'll show you uh, on later where exactly that will be the areas across from the visitor center and then Sunday morning from 6 a.m. till 10. This is a reminder to lock your bike throughout the day or keep it with you uh, just in case. Okay, the venue layout. So here we are. Uh, when you get to this area, this is where there is parking. We would like people, if you have your van or truck, to park over on this side. And then we've got some tent camping in this grassy area. It's where we'll also have the registration and the after party and the podium. There are some public restrooms here. We'll have porta potties in the corner. The first start of the day is 10 a.m. up here at Lone Rock Trailhead. As we mentioned, it's just over four miles and about a thousand feet to get up here. So this blue line shows the start of stage one. Here we'll have the mechanics from Trailhouse NorCal Bike Peddler if you needed a hand, as well as Scratch Hydration Nutrition, and then we'll have the first aid. So if you are in need throughout the day um, for any of these things, all of these things come by. We'll also have the West County Composite Mountain Bike Team with snacks and grilling, probably some hot dogs, maybe some grilled cheese. This is the start of Stage 1. After you finish stage one, you climb back up rock pile. You start past the same area and proceed to stage two. We'll have arrows on course marking the stage itself as well as the transfers between them. After you finish stage two, this green line represents your path coming up to stage three and to stage four. It's the same location. Again, those will be marked. Here's our start times. Sometimes we have more than one group starting in the same window, starting with pro men, women, and e-bikes at 10. When you are there for your group's start time, you individually don't have a specific time, but you need to start in that window. So for example, at 1010, the junior men staging begins. They will start in 30 second intervals. You'll get a five second countdown from the people doing the start. Um, so you can select where to be placed. After stage one, from stage two on, you can start whenever you get there. On the longer stages, if you need a space between you, you can ask for a go. So instead of 30 seconds, you can have a minute. But I generally, by self-selecting your, your start position with your peers, uh, you should be able to have a, a smooth run. Stage one. 
is approximately 1.9 miles with 711 feet and 45 feet of climbing. At the bottom here, you climb back up to Little Lake Trailhead and back up all the way to here to stage two. So stage two is up at the top near the vineyards. This has a really steep descent dropping in there. You roll through Liberty Glen campground, a bit of pavement, and then ripping down Serpentine to Wolfo and to Rancheria Trail. There's a bit of climbing, as you can see on this one, with 938 feet of elevation loss and almost 200 feet of climbing. Stage three, after climbing back up to the area where we mentioned that you have the feed zone hydration, this is start of stage three. 2.7 miles, 816 feet of descending, and 124 feet of climbing. There's some good bench cut rolling single track along the side, but in general, it's a ripping fire road. This section of the descent onto Bummer is really, really fast. Uh, we marked it really well with caution signs and red specialized tape. So please honor those. This is the one spot in the day where you're gonna have really, really high speed. Then you climb back up half a canoe and here you are back at the same area next to the feed zone. So stop in there and get hydrated and get a snack. Stage four takes boar scat, wanders along here and drops down bummer trail. At this point, uh, there is you will continue down on the trail to the boat trailer parking area and proceed to Rockpile Road and the final stage, segment stage five. Stage five is a ripping half mile of 317 feet, zero feet of climbing to the finish area. We have some examples of the trails for you. This is on segment one. It starts out weaving through the oak woodlands and fir forests down into this rocky serpentine soil. So you're going to get a lot of variety on stage one. This is Bummer Peak. This is the descent down to the lake. High speed off camber. It doesn't look much from the images right here, but the caution signs represent you'll be ripping into this blind corner as it fades away. So it's really going to be important to control your speed when you see the caution so you're not drifting far out where it drops hundreds of feet down to the side right here. This T-bones into the lake, and then you have another quarter of a mile to the finish of the stage. Stage two, after the rocky scent down through Serpentine, you get onto this side hill bench trail. Just beautiful ripping. Gets a little bit trophy in here, um, and there's a bit of climbing on stage two. Stage four drops you down almost to the lake. This is pretty steep. There's some rocky sections, a lot of variety to keep you honest, to keep you challenged. Please remember that all these trails, though we have permits with the Army Corps of Engineers, they're open to other years, users throughout the event. There is nothing permanently closed. So you may see hikers out here. We have had the course, the trailheads marked for some time advising of our event for hopes hopefully people will choose not to be out there but just have a heads up in the back of your mind even though you're going for having your best day and your best time just be aware thanks so much to the crew that's going to be out here the sportful marshall crew uh, will be helping with timing as well as on the course if you see anybody in need let them know they can radio to the Geyserville Fire Department. The fire department will be posted up at the Lone Rock parking area on Bummer Road, and then there will be a boat on the lake. So let's hope that we don't need it. Remember, this is wilderness rescue. So uh, if you are in need, you can call for them, 911, and we'll do our best to help you. If you see an injured rider out on course, uh, please let a marshal rider know so they can let them know if it's a severe injury. 
please stop and see if you can lend a hand and maybe control traffic. Any rider who has to stop and end their time can go back up and redo their segment. The caution signs, those are all put out there by me. I'm not going to overly mark the course. Uh, we'll mark them for hazards and for sharp corners. So when we see those, uh, we mean that. So please take them um, seriously. We want everyone to have a great day out there and to be safe. At the end of the day, we'll be gathering back at the registration area where we'll have uh, taco trucks for lunch. We'll have beer by Sierra Nevada, Guayaki, Best Day Brewing, and a alcohol and a beer, uh, and an assortment of other beverages okay so the next thing i want you guys to know is enduro bearings as all the hoppers they are amazing sponsors make the best bearings in the world as well as the best metals the rider closest to start the finish line and by that we mean the end of stage five closest to 2 bm but not after wins a new bottom bracket stop by and talk to the folks there to learn more at the end of the day, the results, this is a live link on our webpage showing the results of the stages. If you have questions about your timing, please see the timing folks at the end of the day. And the photos afterwards will be posted from Brian Tucker. We hope that everyone has the best day possible out there and enjoys these fine trails at Lake Sonoma. And we can't do this without the support of all our amazing sponsors that are out there on course lending a hand, providing great product and podium. And let's not forget Black Oak Coffee. They'll be there in the morning with some pastries. Not only do they have a bakery and coffee shop in Ukiah, but also now in Healdsburg. So if you stop by Black Oak Coffee on the plaza on your way up to the event, tell them you're here for the grasshopper and you'll get a free cup of coffee. That's it. Rubber side down. I'm heading back out to finish marking the course. Hope everyone has a safe trip up. Maybe we'll see you on Saturday. If not, we'll see you bright and early Sunday morning.